Okay, happy Sunday, YouTube. August 13th, 1126 AM. We're in Oregon. Whew. Okay. This is this is some more observations about the the Randall K. Bean and Heather Ann Tucci giraffe case. Um, I was watching Titus Frost here as he's talking about Charlottesville update. Titus Frost has looked at a lot of these narratives that have emerged on YouTube and and he's picked them apart and listen to what he says here. It's just interesting and I went and looked to see if they had an IMDB page because normally in false flags you'll find the guy who committed the violence as some sort of, you know, career in acting, you know, normally a failed acting career in his past. So I went and looked. I didn't see anything on that. Oh. So that's interesting what he says about IMDB and the use of actors to push these narratives uh, through YouTube and through the mainstream media. Now the difference here with Heather Ann Tucci is there's nothing in the mainstream media. Um, but still with the uh, information that came to me yesterday and and thank you to the person that uh, that vectored that in her last name Tucci T-U-C-C-I is very similar to T-U-C-C-1 and the U-C-C-1 is the form that this narrative uh, centers around so that's just the first observation uh, that's feeling kind of similar to some of these other hoaxes. So I went over to IMDB and let's just type her name in. Okay. So no results found for Heather and that makes me feel good. But the other person in this Randall K. Bean. I was blown away to see that there's a Randall K. Bean. Um, it's a different one. This Randall K. Bean is 8-21-57 for a birth date. Um, and this person's in visual effects. Um, worked on Star Wars 1, The Phantom Menace goes all the way back to uh, some of the original Star Wars movies. Um, so, Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, The Abyss, The Hunt for Red October, Back to the Future 3, The Rocketeer, Terminator 2 Judgment Day, Star Trek 6, Hook, Death Becomes Her, Jurassic Park, Meteor Man, Schindler's List, Forrest Gump, In the Mouth of Madness, Congo, The Indian in the Cupbird, 101 Dalmatians, Daylight, Jurassic Park, The Lost World, Deep Rising, Deep Impact, The Mummy, The Phantom Menace, Sleepy Hollow, Space Cowboys, Attack of the Clones, Minority Report, Gangs of New York. These are some of the largest society shaping movies that we've had throughout this era. So it's very interesting to see that a Randall K. Bean is in IMD and associated with all these movies. Now, uh, says that he's from Pittsburgh. He was born in Pittsburgh, California on August 21st, 1957. Uh, I just want to go in here to the Tennessee page in Vinelink, we're going to pull up the Randall K. Bean that is associated with the Heather Ann Tucci and the debtor secured party court case that's going on. B E A N E, Randall. So there's only one Randall Bean that's in custody. In Tennessee no photo available this gives a uh, date of birth of 9 29 and here we've got 8 21 57 9 
six seven versus eight two one five seven. Um, I wonder where this Randy Bean was born. The Randy Bean that's in Blount County Sheriff's Department in custody. Um, does anybody have? Can anybody shed any light on this? This is this is this is very strange. That that it's. Well, actually, it's not spelled the same way. It's without an E on the end, but still with the K. I know Gematria K equals 11. Huh. Wow, what are your thoughts, guys? This uh, I haven't made any new perceptions on Heather Ann Tucci Giraffe or Randall K. Bean other than the face value perception that is in... Uh, hmm... Angie's videos, uh, the calls that BZ Riger has posted up. There's just so much to verify. There's the, the court transcripts, there's the UCC filings. Um, but it's just so weird that, that stuff like this pops up. So again, it's a different birth date and it's a, a different last name, B-E-A-N-E -E versus B-E-A-N. So, uh, if anybody can pull out any more info on either Randall K. Bean so that we can compare them to each other and uh, either learn that they're the same person or that they're two different people, uh, that would be great. Uh, send me an email at lunacy at protonmail.com. That'll be in the show notes.